Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the ultimate guide to UK road signs. You know, I've reacted to a number of different videos that were about driving in the UK in general. I've learned a little bit about the rules and regulations of the road. I've learned quite a bit about the differences between driving in the US versus driving in the UK. But one thing that I've never explored is what the different UK road signs look like and what they mean. You know, when I've looked at some of these different videos that I've reacted to in the past that had people driving or were specifically about driving, I've definitely noticed quite a few street signs that I have no idea what they mean. You know, obviously some of our road signs in the US versus the UK look similar. You know, for example, the stop sign is slightly different, but it looks fairly similar. Um, you know, and there's some others that are look quite similar, but some of the road signs in the UK, I have no idea what they mean. I actually think a lot of the road signs, I don't know what they mean. You know, at some point, I think I'm going to actually take a practice theory test and just see what I score. Obviously, I will probably fail because I have a long way to go to truly understand all the different aspects of driving in the UK. Um, it's definitely quite a bit different from what I'm used to here in the US. So um, I thought a good place to start would be learning some of your road signs. This video somehow in 10 minutes supposedly has 100 road signs and their meaning. I have no idea how they're going to fit 100 road signs and their meaning into this little video, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe maybe a lot of the road signs will be kind of in batches or something here, and so they'll be able to talk about a batch of signs that have similar meanings um, and then move on to another batch or something like that. I have no idea what to expect here, guys, but I think this will be very interesting. I love the driving topic. It's just one of those things that so many of us do in both countries and while it is similar in some aspects, there's so many differences and it's just a lot of fun learning about this particular topic. But anyways, guys, enough of my rambling. Oh yeah, one more thing, guys. I also wanted to mention before we get started with this video that um, if you missed yesterday's video, um, in that video, at the end of the video, my daughter and I actually opened our first package we've ever received from the UK. And she was excited to open it, so I just let her go ahead and open it on video with me. Um, we only tried one thing from that package so far. Well, actually, I tried the soap as well, and that was really good. I really enjoyed the soapy scent. Um, but we only tried one edible object so far. Um, when it comes to reacting to things and trying different products from the UK or Ireland, whenever you guys send these to me, um, I'm probably going to open the packages on one video and then actually try stuff on separate videos and kind of, I don't know, put things together that make sense. For example, have a video about trying British chocolate or a video about trying different drinks. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I'm going to figure this out soon. But anyway, guys, I want to let you know if you're interested in checking that out. That is on the end of yesterday's video. And uh, also, if you're interested in sending me any packages of stuff from the UK or Ireland that you'd like me to try, or you'd just like to send me something in general, no matter what it is, um, I now have a P.O. box. The description is going to be in, every, I mean, the uh, P.O. box address is going to be in the description of every single video. So if you're interested, just look down in the description of a video and you will see the P.O. box address there. But anyways, guys, enough from my rambling. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out the ultimate guide to UK road signs. Many of the UK road signs are fairly obvious. Mm -hmm. For example, traffic lights. Sure, that looks like ours. You've probably seen soft and as a passenger, you just know what they mean. For example, roundabout. That makes sense. But some signs are not obvious. To help work them out, Bicycle. it helps to know the signing system. What in the world is this? Okay, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be different. I have no idea what this would mean. I mean, obviously, there's some kind of an emergency going on with the car, I guess. I don't know. Wait, why would they have a street sign? I don't know. That's that's interesting. Um, for the UK road signs. Straight ahead? I'm going to now go through this. A fork in the road? Circular signs give orders. These are things you must legally do or not do. Oh. If you don't follow these orders, you could be fined by a camera or pulled over by the police and given points on your license. Okay. There is also a colour coding system typically used, where blue signs are positive orders. So these are things you must do. 
red circular signs in negative orders. These are things you must not do. Oh. Much like in computer games, where blue are your allies, positive. Red are your enemies, negative. Oh. Triangle is Okay, on. so I, I'm trying to remember. That. I'm not going to remember all of this, but uh, the goal is to pick up little bits and pieces on each video, and then eventually you rehash the stuff and hopefully get it eventually. But so when you see the red, it means... Well, where, where was it? There it is. So when you see the red, it means do not do a U-turn. Uh, I don't know what the bike would mean. Do not do something with a bike. Maybe you can't ride a bike here. Maybe the... I don't know. That's interesting. I still don't understand what those exactly mean. Um, obviously, you can see the bike means something with a bike. What are you not doing with a bike? You just can't ride a bike there. The blue one with the bike must mean that you're allowed to ride a bike here. And obviously, the, the 30 is a street sign there. Um, the street signs look completely different for what I'm used I mean, the, the speed limit signs look completely different from what I'm used to seeing here. Warnings. Signs typically give warnings. Our warnings are usually triangle things, too, such as hazards, but usually yellow. The well, no, they're red sometimes. Speed or your position for to be able to safely negotiate them. Directions and general information is generally given on rectangular signs. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so the A1M... I think someone tried to explain that in the in the comments a long time ago on a video. Can't remember exactly. I mean, this is obviously like this is a road of some sort. But I know there's differences in the way you set like the M and the A mean something specific. Like one is going to be a larger road or something like that. I can't remember. Um, hopefully someone will explain that in the comments a little bit or maybe he'll explain that here. Um Park Street Roundabout. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to get all this today. It's just I just want to get a good overview and just a brief understanding uh, to begin understanding the street signs. Uh, as I'm definitely not going to remember even half of this. There's so much to, to remember from one video. We can use this information. What does the sign mean? What some signs mean. Route to be used by pedal cycles only. No cycling. If it was no cycling, wouldn't it have like a, 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 a like a line across it or something? Motors vehicles only cycle route ahead. I don't think it'd be that because this is a no something you're not supposed to be do something you're not supposed to do. So, oh man, I don't know. At first, this sign could be most of the options. It's got a picture of a bicycle, mm -hmm. so it's going to probably be three out of four of the options. Yeah, get rid of the C. It's not going to be motorized vehicles only. Right. There's no picture of a motorized vehicle. But I wouldn't think it'd be cycle. No it's cycle. In the red circle, however, so that's a negative order. So something you must not. No do. cycle, I guess. You must not cycle. So it's going to be no cycle. I would have thought they would have mark across it or a line across it. Another picture of a bicycle. Cycle route right ahead. Something to do with bicycles. No it's a blue circle. So cycle route right ahead. So this is something you must do. Oh. You must be a cyclist. Route to be used by pedal most cycles only. The option is a route ah. to be used by okay. pedal cycles only. And that would be the correct answer. That makes sense. A final sign for a picture for a cyclist. Okay, so this is a warning. Okay, so route to be used by pedal motorist vehicles only. No, it's about cyclists. Cycle route ahead. Is that a... Oh, well... D? Because it's a warning saying there's a cycle route ahead, maybe? It's got to be what it is. in a triangle. So it's warning you of cyclists. So the most likely option is going to be cyclists. Yeah, I did it. To watch out for cyclists on Good. the road. Okay. Maybe they're going to be crossing your path. All right. I'm now going to show you all the major signs from the UK Highway Code. Most of them are obvious or can be worked out by following the signing system. But... Some are not obvious and can't be worked out. You just need to know the sign. Sign not in use? <laughs> what does that mean? There's a sign there that says sign not in use. What, is that, what does that mean? That is the oddest sign. That's the oddest street sign I think I've ever seen. They have a sign that says sign not in use. I have no idea what that would mean. So make sure you memorize all these Secret signs. If you know what they all mean, and you stand a great chance of passing your theory test. So and you know how helicopters ahead. Them once you pass your helicopters on. test, and you're driving on your own. Warning: Try your brakes. What does that mean? 
Maximum speed is circle with, okay, so that's warning. Okay, see, this is like, I would have never guessed this. So this is no vehicles. I mean, it makes sense, kind of. I mean, there's nothing in the circle. So this is, this is like going to be in front of a road where no vehicles are allowed because except bicycles being pushed. So I'm guessing you would find this, you obviously would find the sign on like a main thoroughway. It's, this would be, this would be like for some sort of alley or something to where they only want like bicycles being pushed or something. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Um, I want to get rid of the music, man. It's like it's distracting me from this. No vehicles carrying explosives. Or maybe I'll turn this up a little bit. No, I don't want that. Um, no vehicles are with shown. Give priority to vehicles from opposite direction. That makes sense. No right turn. No left turn. That one makes sense. But this is that's interesting. This is what I would have thought I would see when bicyclists were not allowed. You know, um, that's that's interesting. This is something you must not do. Mm, anyway, no U-turn. That, those are self-explanatory to me. That, that one makes total sense. No goods, vehicles, or maximum gross weight. Again, the, the red means something you don't do. No waiting. What are you not waiting on? No stopping. Ahead only. Turn left ahead. This is something you you must do. Turn left. So you have to turn left when you see that sign. Keep left. Vehicles may pass either side to reach same destination. Many roundabouts. Many roundabouts. Interesting. Segregated pedal cycle and pedal. Oh, okay, so a split lane sort of maximum speed. You must not end of minimum speed. Interesting. Hmm. What's in the cycle zone? Now I see how he's got a hundred signs in this short video because it's just like this trams only. Dual carriageway ends. Road narrows on right. Okay. Road narrows on both sides. Crossroads. That's an interesting one. I don't quite get the symbol. I, I get the crossroads here, but I don't quite get the whole uh, the point at top. Is it just making is it just pointing to the you know forward and then saying it's crossroad ahead? Junction on bend ahead. I mean, I mean, that would make sense. T-junction. Priority of vehicles from the right. Referred to as T-junction on the theory test. Staggered junction. Traffic merging from the left. <laughs> okay. Double bend first to left. Symbol may be reversed. Double bend left first to left. What does that even mean? What is what does double bend mean? I mean, is this basically just saying, watch out, there's like curves ahead in the road? Otherwise, I don't I don't really bend is not something that I recognize as uh, something that has anything to do with traffic here. We don't really use that word to describe any any sort of um, you know traffic situation or any sort of road situation. Other than there's there's a bend in the road. I mean, that's that's a, a you know maybe a sharp curve or something um i guess that's what that means i mean it's got to be bend i mean double bend first to left that's what i i'm i'm, I'm confused on this I, I don't understand what that means double bend first to left bend to right so it basically means there's a bend in the road uneven road that would make sense i wouldn't know at first what that meant but yeah that makes sense two-way traffic crosses one-way road but i said make sure you remember this one Make sure you remember this one. It is often asked on the theory test. 
two-way traffic straight ahead. Opening or swing bridge ahead. Low flying aircraft or sudden aircraft noise. See, that's one I would never guess, dude. I, I would never guess that. I would I, just see the airplane, low flying aircraft. Wow. So many, like we do not have so many of these types of street signs. You guys have to remember so many more types of street signs than we do. Um, because like, like so many of these, it just, they, we just don't have them on the roads here. I mean, some of them, but you know, most of these, like, I mean, we do have like falling rocks in the mountains and stuff like that. We have road signs to, uh, to, you know, to warn people of that, for example, but a lot of these we don't. Slippery road. That would make sense. Steep hill downwards. Yeah. I mean that, that, that steep hill. Yeah. That, that, those make sense to me. Tunnel ahead. That one's self-explanatory. Warning of a tunnel. Warning a tram crossing is ahead. That's what I need to keep on remember. Warning crossing with barrier or gate ahead. Okay. I gotta, that's what I need to keep on remembering. I need to get this in my head that this is a warning of whatever the picture is in inside the triangle. I just need to get that in my head and then it's gonna be easier to understand uh, what we're looking at. School crossing. I think I would get that patrol ahead. Interesting. Rail pedestrians likely to cross road ahead. Well, that's a nice sign to have. Pedestrians and road ahead. That's something I don't think I've ever seen before. Zebra crossing. I've heard of those. What were they? Some kind of sidewalk. I can't remember. Overhead electric cable. Like, that's crazy, man. That's something that I would not see on a road sign here. Uh, it's so interesting that you guys have signs that warn of basically every single obstacle that you could come across on the road. Available width of headroom indicated. Warning, cattle likely to be ahead. Warning, wild animals likely to be ahead. Warning, wild horses or ponies. Okay, that one's interesting. Warning, accompanied horses or ponies. So an area where a lot of people ride their horses. So when you see a risk of ice sign, warning there could be ice ahead, um, you know, that, I, I would understand this. And obviously ice makes sense. Do you always have the word ice under this particular sign? Or do you sometimes just have the word ice and this is not here? Traffic cues slightly ahead. Distance over which road humps extend. Humps for half a mile. So I guess your road humps are road bumps. Uh, uh, what do we call those? Oh, man. You know how it's when you're looking for a particular word in your head and all of a sudden you just go blank. Why, why in the word am I blanking on that particular word? Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is basically saying you have these for a half a mile every so often. Uh, interesting. So this is obviously be in maybe a neighborhood or something. You're not going to see this sign out on like a, a thoroughway where you're going 50 miles per hour or something like that. Other danger, plate indicates nature, hazard, hidden dip, soft verges, soft verges. So obviously this means that this is, does this mean this is a place? Okay, this means one of two things. Warning, this is a place where you could easily, if your tire slips off, it's gonna, it's like a deep drop, right? Or two, it means that it's a place to where you can pull off on the side of the road. I'm probably wrong on both of those. I really don't quite understand what this is. Unless, basically, this is the side of the road is not paved. The side of the road is dirt slash grass. Maybe that's, that would make sense to me, actually. I think that might be what this means. Soft verges. Uh, so this is probably grass or dirt. Uh, that makes sense. Side winds, warning side winds. Okay, that's when you're up in the mountains or whatnot. Hump bridge, what's a hump bridge? Okay, a ford, we know what a ford is, where it crosses a stream in the road. Uh, quayside, what in the world is a quayside or riverbank? What exactly, I mean, I get what they're, they're, 
they're warning of a riverbank and we're warning of a quayside. But what are they, what is a quayside? A quayside is a riverbank. I've never heard that term before. I have no idea what a quayside is. Um, but what are they trying to warn people of when it comes to a riverbank? Is it just like the riverbank is very close to the side of the road, so you could easily slip off or something like that? I don't know. That's, I guess that's what they're warning of. Hmm. Risk of ground. Oh, okay. I understand what that is. Loose chippings. What is loose chippings? Is that just like where the gravel on a like? Well, you wouldn't. That would be a gravel road, so it wouldn't. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. What? The, let me let's explain some of these to me if you don't mind. I'd really like to know a little bit more about what these different signs mean that I'm kind of really curious about. Road works. The following signs do not necessarily follow the normal rules are not obvious. Okay. See, ever more important to note, stop and give way. Despite not being a red circle, this is a law. You must fully stop. Yeah, the stop sign was similar. School crossing patrol. Okay. So that's, that's where kids are crossing a road. You need to stop to make sure no one's coming. National speed limit. What does this mean? National speed limit. So, so is that basically you guys have a particular speed limit that is basically the speed limit over the entire country anywhere there's not another speed limit sign? So, for example, if you don't see any speed limit signs at all, you go whatever the national speed limit is. That's what I'm guessing that might be. I could be wrong. But then again, why would they need this sign? If Why wouldn't they just say the number in here of what the speed limit is? I don't know. Let me know, guys. What is the national speed limit? Like, not only what is the speed of the national speed limit, but what exactly does that mean? Am I correct in what I just said? No entry for vehicular traffic. Okay. Give way to traffic on major roads. So you're yield. Yield. Okay. We are, what are, yeah. Anyway, traffic signals not in use. Stop when lights show. Light signals ahead at level crossing, airfield bridge. This is fire stations. Okay. Sharp deviation of route to left or right. Primary route forming part of a ring road. What's a ring road? Hmm. <laughs> so many things to learn here. Wow. Distance to camping and caravan site. With flow bus and cycle lane. What? Contra flow bus lane. Typically found in a one-way system. The bus does not follow the one-way system. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. With flow, pedal cycle lane. What does with flow mean? I mean, I know what I know what it, I think it means. I mean, it means with flow means you're you're flowing with something. So like with flow, pedal cycle. So so does it mean like a cyclist? There's a cyclist lane, a bicycle lane that is flowing along the same direction with traffic. I think that's what that means. I'm not sure. No through road for vehicles. Entrance to controlled parking zone. No parking at times shown on sign. So a controlled parking zone would basically mean it's a parking area where it's controlled. You are only allowed to park there at certain times. And if you park there outside those times, you're going to get towed or fined or something along those lines. That's what I'm guessing that is. One-way traffic. That that makes sense, I suppose. Symbols showing emergency diversion routes for motorway and other main road traffic. Wow. Okay. I, I look at these and I'm like, now that the yellow's on here, I'm like, what does this mean? Like, for example, I know the triangle in the red means, you know, warning ahead, a warning us of something. But what does it mean right here? And what's this triangle right here mean? I am so confused on this. Man. Okay. Yeah, these signs are so different from what I'm used to. And a lot, most of these are. A few of them are the same, but most of them are completely different. 
Countdown markers at exit from motorway. Each bar represents 100. Traffic has priority over oncoming vehicles. Home zone entry. What is home zone entry? Home zone entry. I mean, I think that might be self-explanatory. It's an area where there's a lot of homes and uh, this is an entry to like a, a neighborhood or an interest to, even to a driveway. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know. School bus displayed in front or rear window, a bus or coach. So that's just a warn that it's a bus, okay. But it's not a warning sign. It's just to remind people, I guess. Start a motorway, okay, the M is the motorway, that's right, okay. And point from which motorway regulations apply. What you guys call motorway, we call it interstate. I think I think your motorway is our interstate, but I don't think your motorway is necessarily our highway. I think your highway may be a different letter, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure about that. This video does not mention every UK road sign. There are loads. Oh my goodness, guys. It just mentions the main road signs used. Other road signs that are not on this video are very rarely used and not mentioned in the highway. Okay, so these are the main ones, but there are a lot that are just kind of, you know, in different areas that uh, just something very particular to the area that most people probably don't need to know. All right, guys. Uh, this was a very, very uh complete uh he was right the ultimate guide to uk road signs this was absolutely the ultimate guide to uk road signs in my opinion i mean a hundred different road signs their meanings um there is no way i'm going to even remember half of these but um so how many of these are generally on a theory test and so i'm guessing when you take your theory test you're going to have like if you and a friend go take the theory test at the same time, is it likely that you're both going to have different questions on your theory test? And so you're going to, you're going to both have to uh, show that you know different signs, right? I, I believe. I believe. I'm not 100% sure if that's accurate. Let me know in the comments, guys. Is that the case? I'm probably actually going to do a video on the theory test sometime soon to kind of understand a little bit more about how it works. Um, yeah, I, I really like to look into this, but um, I thought this was awesome, guys. Like I said, I mean, there's so many different signs here that I am so not used to that there's no way I'm going to remember these. Um, the, I mean, I, I kind of understand a little bit more now that the tri red triangle means there's a warning ahead about whatever the picture is inside the triangle. That's one of the main things I got from this, and also the fact that, you know, the red and the blue circles like this mean orders. This is telling you, you must not do something. You must not do a U-turn here. And this is telling you, you must do something. So you must stay at 30 miles per hour or below. Um, so th that makes a lot of sense. But even knowing that, you know, it's one of those things that you've got to kind of really, really grasp it. And it's something that I can see, like your signs are, in my opinion, your main signs are a little bit harder to understand than the signs we have here. At least in my experience, I mean, like obviously you guys grew up with these signs, so it's probably not to you because you're so used to seeing these signs your entire lives, even before you start driving, you're seeing these on a regular basis. And so you pick up what they mean. And so it's probably not as complicated as it looks if you've been over in the UK your entire lives. But someone looking at this for the first time is like, wow. It's just so many different signs here thrown at you. And um, even if you understand the red triangle means warning, it's like, what exactly does this mean? You know, like, you know, a lot of these images don't exactly like this. Like, what exactly does it mean? I think I might know what it means, but I don't 100% know what it means. Because do we mean the same thing by bend? Uh, what is a double bend? Is that what I think it is? But anyways, guys, I thought this was really awesome. Uh, glad I checked this video out. I definitely want to continue exploring uh, driving in the UK. I also want to explore driving in Ireland. I feel like it's probably going to be a little more similar to the UK than to the US, but I'm sure there's going to be some differences there as well. I need to look at some stuff there as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.